Hi, this is Charity, and welcome to another recording of Tiny Town. A challenge in The Sims 4 by Deligracy and her channel, and the rules will be linked in the description below. So we have furnished Frank Stem's house, and I just love the way that this turned out. Now, the issue with him is that he likes green. So in The Sims, if you make everything green, unfortunately, everything is a different shade of green. So that makes it a challenge in The Sims 4. You can't make everything green. You have to pick a few shades of green and then pick some neutral colors to tie it together. So I have, why is this fox in my house? All right, well, I thought that, well, I did unlock the gate, so I guess that was my fault. All right, well, anyway, the reason why the sims is difficult when picking a shade of green is because the only toilet that is green is this just disgusting color of green i don't know why you would ever make a toilet that color so the nicer shades of green are kind of a minty or bluish tone so that's mostly what i went with and i did do a lot of pink as well just because a lot of the green pieces had pink accents and I could have actually made all of these chairs green but I thought that it just looks better more balanced with a second color and I also changed the floorboards to be green instead of white and that brought a lot more green into the rooms so this is the downstairs we did finish his living room and dining room and it has all of the furniture that it needs and I'm not going to do very much more with the downstairs. Uh, there's the kitchen and the guest bathroom, which just has a toilet and a large mirror. And then we go upstairs and we have his bedroom, which is kind of cramped with the large bed, but that's okay because his house is supposed to be a little bit smaller. And I did run out of money, so I did not get all of the curtains finished, and I did not finish furnishing this room, because I'm actually not sure how many Sims we're going to have in this house yet, and I'm not sure who his partner is going to be yet. So there's the bathroom that's upstairs. We have a nice tub-shower combo. And I did use the vampire bassinets, but the vampire ones, other than the bat, looks really nice in here because it matches the color scheme almost perfectly and then we put this little dollhouse in the closet i'm not sure if that will be functional i hope it will be we'll see because basically it has that roof piece out here and it has the open doors so i'm hoping that they can get to that and i the reason why i have six bassinets here is we are probably not going to have six children but what Frank Stem might do is have a science baby with his partner. And the way that my game is currently set up is the maximum number of babies is six. So if we get six children, they will populate these bassinets and I won't have to move them into different bassinets. So that's why there's six of them. Most likely we'll only get one or two but sometimes you might get really unlucky and get six. So Frank is actually out of money now. I spent all of his money on his house and that actually surprised me, but it's because I went overboard on the clutter and I did this back door with this wishing well, which was 7,000 simoleons and this nice hot tub. And I just wanted to go all out for his house because he has a lot of simoleons. Now I did leave the outside floorboards as white, but I thought that looked nice with the accents and the floorboards inside don't really match the siding too well. So that's why the outside is not as green as it could be. Now the only other thing that Frank needs to pay for is he needs to redo the community center. So basically, what I plan on doing for him is enclosing this entire area as a greenhouse and maybe updating some of the furniture and expanding this a little bit so that he can buy the next things for the next person. But first we have to earn some money. 
I also want to finish his aspiration. So it says graft onto three plants. And I moved some of the plants outdoors. So these are the ones that are in season for summer. Hopefully they will grow a little bit quicker because I have not had any luck with that. Now we don't need a cow plant berry, so I could technically graft this snapdragon onto anything, but I'm not sure if I want to. And it looks like Letitia is actually planting some more flowers. That's nice. So in order to get rid of this, I guess we could graft it onto the spinach or the carrot. Um, I think I'll graft it onto the carrot because spinach is really useful. Okay, this plant now grows carrots and snapdragons. <laughs> That's funny. And then we'll take a cutting of the spinach, but I don't... Oh, something just... Snapdragon just popped up. Okay, I can graft the spinach onto the snapdragon. Well, that's kind of weird, but I just need to get my gardening aspirations done. Okay, the welcome wagon is here. Why is this my front door? Why? Why did you set that as my front door? This is my front door. I'll f I fixed that. <laughs> and there they go around to the front door. Oh, that is so funny. I didn't know they would move. Okay, why are you taking the fruitcake upstairs? No, don't put it on the toilet. Really? I have a kitchen with counters. Why is the toilet the best place to put the fruitcake? Look, all of these counters have free space. There's even a table with free space. Why? And two tables with free space. Why did you have to put it on the toilet? Oh, come on. Okay, never mind. All right, first I thought that this was the one he was currently going out with. But no, he's no longer going out with Ian. He's going out with Michael. So Eleanor Sullivan has asked him out on a date. Should I say yes? He keeps asking us for opinions, but we're not going out with Ian anymore. So I'm going to tell him, yes, go for it. Oh, good. There's flowers out here that I can actually splice. So that's good. Okay, we've got that step done so now we need level 10 gardening we've already evolved 10 excellent plants good i'm glad that it gave me credit for that and we also have to grow a cow plant so i do have a cow plant berry so we'll plant that and then we just have to wait for it to grow all right so we have two flowers to sell and these sell for quite a bit one of them is a pristine masterpiece and so is the other one, but they're both normal quality. So they only sell for about 3700 a piece. Still, that's enough. And that was easy. Wow, I sold three for some reason. Was there three on there? I only had two. I think the game glitched and gave me credit for a second one because two people were buying the same one at the same time. Oh, well, now we'll just work on our gardening a little bit. Really? The plant reverted when I was researching it. Um, okay, I thought I heard some woohoo music. Cypress and Letitia woohooed in the bed over here. Um, that might be a problem. Well, as you know, there was a patch recently for The Sims 4, and it happened to run while I was recording this Tiny Town episode. So, unfortunately, I did not realize that they changed the window name for The Sims 4. So my OBS is set up to record a specific window, and it depends on the window being an exact name. And I didn't realize it, and I recorded the rest of the episode. Thankfully, it was very minimal. Almost nothing happened the rest of the episode because I was so focused on getting Frank's aspiration finished that I had almost no time to actually have any interesting things happen, except for maybe getting married to Michael Bell. <laughs> so um, we have married Michael Bell. We have completed our aspiration. And it is the end of the week. 
So when I was doing editing, I discovered that it didn't record the video. It only recorded the voiceover. So what I'm doing now is just filling you in on what happened. And then we will have a special playthrough week for this episode where we just follow a little bit of Cyprus and also Frank Stem as they go through their daily lives or maybe a week. So Michael Bell has joined the family. And when we talked to Frank about marriage, Michael was actually into it. So I took that as a sign that Michael is the one for Frank. And so basically these two got married. And then when Michael moved in, I kind of noticed something. Michael has a dog. And yeah, I couldn't leave the dog. So we have a new dog named Crystal. Michael also had a cat. So now we have a cat named Crystal. And yes, you guessed it. Michael also has a horse named Fable. So we have a horse. Michael, of course, is an animal lover. So I had to take his animals with him, even though technically his animal lover trait is for chickens and cows and llamas. Well, this household has a horse, a dog, and a cat. Now, when Michael married Frank and moved into the household, I had an infant call me and say, Hi, Michael, I see you became good friends with Frank Stem. He, you're clearly a good person to know. And I thought, why is an infant calling him? Well, turns out Michael also had two children. They were not in his household, though. His two kids were in Katrina Caliente's household because apparently Michael hooked up with Katrina and had two children, yet he did not know Katrina at all. So my storytelling for this is going to be that Michael decided to have children because he wanted to have kids and he wanted to have a family and he had a surrogate. So the two children are Ayla and Randall. So we have two infants. And what I did is I turned this room here into a nursery. So this will be the room for the infants. And we have Randall Bell Stem and Aylin Bell Stem. So Michael kept his name and Frank kept his name. And then the children have the hyphenated form of their two parents, their biological father and their adopted father. So the office area has a computer and it also has a dog bed and a cat tree. So this is going to be the room for the pets and for an office space, basically a small desk with a typewriter because, you know, Frank is an elder, so he doesn't know too much about computers. And Michael Bell is actually into the outdoors anyway. And so he's not a computer person either. So I did complete Frank's house and we did have a few more curtains to add. So I added these pink and green leaves as curtains for the living room and the dining room. And I know it's really cluttered, but to me that just screams grandpa or grandma, I should say. But typically I think of a cluttered space like this where it's neat and tidy and clean, but also cluttered because elders have lived a very, very long life and they accumulate things. And a lot of them have trouble letting go of things. So that's my take on Frank's house is that he's had a very long life and he likes to hold on to things. And then I did finish all of the curtains upstairs as well. And this is the marriage certificate that they hung on the wall. And then basically I added some blinds for the bathrooms, but I didn't really do too much else. However, I did make this stairway on the back porch because I kind of forgot about the hot water heater and the electrical box. And I could probably squeeze the electrical box in somewhere, but the hot water heater, I really didn't have room for that anywhere. So I wanted to have that for the gameplay value for for rent. So I just basically made a small basement room and that's where it is. 
And Frank also expanded the community space. So I did finish that renovation as well. I made the greenhouse actually two story and removed the roof so that we could fit trees inside. So there is a tree up there and it's a little bit lopsided the building, but um, that's okay. And we have a glass roof. So I put these square windows on the front because I still want some sun to come in, but the afternoon sun actually comes in from this direction. So it makes a lot of sense that the building would be mostly shaded on that side because that's the most powerful sunlight. And the sunlight that comes in from the other angles would be allowed to come in. So this is the new community space activity area. We still have the shower room and the toilet room and the flower arranging table, but I did add a woodworking table for Cypress because I like it when he comes out and uses things. So I want this to be in the community space. And then this is the jewel crafting table we have for the jewel crafter. And we also put in a TV and we still have the Murphy bed. Now I put this tree house over here and I'm not sure what's going to happen to it. If I build it out, will it be built out for everyone? Hopefully it will. I'm going to be kind of disappointed if it's only built out for Cypress because I plan on playing Cypress's family for a little while and building this tree house out. And then maybe we'll play with Frank's family for a little while and take care of the infants and we'll get to know them. So here we are back with Cyprus and the triplets have actually aged up into toddlers. So that's exciting. Okay, so when you get an event at a unit, you have the option to call a cheap contractor or an expensive contractor. So Cyprus called the cheap contractor. Um, hopefully they don't do too bad. Okay, so they actually took care of it. For 325 simoleons, I didn't have to deal with the event. I just want him to finish this tree house. I don't want to deal with rental events. Okay, Cyprus likes handiness. Why is this not fun? He's using his handiness skill to build the tree house. Apparently, now toddlers can carry umbrellas. Yeah, I'm sure that's a bug. Either that, or maybe it has to do with one of my mods, but I don't think I have anything that really modifies umbrellas. The bad thing is I can't put the umbrella away if I click on the umbrella stand, so I don't know what to do with that. It's annoying. All right, I basically spent all day Sunday and most of Monday finishing this tree house, so it has everything that it needs to have and is completely upgraded. I also upgraded the dryer to be lintless. So I wanted to figure out if this carried over into the other apartments. So we'll try that now and switch over to Frank. Oh good, it is finished. So since this is in the common area, it has all of the upgrades that I did with Cypress. So that's good. The children will have their tree house to play in. And it looks like the dryer also has the lintless upgrade. Good, because I didn't want to worry about fires in here. Well, this is one of the challenges I was dealing with earlier with Frank. So basically, he doesn't repair anything. He just has to call Cypress to repair it. And the ghosts keep coming in and randomly breaking stuff. Now, we did get rid of the mold lot challenge so since we are technically finished with frank i did complete his house and his aspiration so he, we do not have the mold challenge anymore cypress wait don't go i didn't call you here for the insect infestation i called you for the bathtub being broken although thanks for fixing the insects too Oh, the joys of having infants. Yes, they're both crying. So maybe we can get these infants to sit up eventually and then test to see if this dollhouse works. Oh, right. Michael is still an astronaut. Hmm. Is a space ranger level 10? How did he get that job? 
Well, both infants can lift their head now. Okay, I think I want to get rid of the Murphy bed. Because basically what happens is whenever a Sim gets tired, they want to come put the bed down, even if they have another bed assigned to them. So they'll come put the Murphy bed down and then go to their bed to sleep. So since I have the tree house over here, you can actually sleep in the enclosure. So maybe that's what we'll do for the new people who move in since we don't need a Murphy bed anymore. And we'll just put a really comfortable love seat in here and maybe a table. Oh, great. The bathroom is completely busted. Oh, no. Franklin is running away. I guess I wasn't paying attention to the cats. The infants just take up way too much time. It's hard to have pets when you have infants. Aw, Frank is so sad that his pet ran away. And now instead of cheerful, he's going to be gloomy. Oh, come on, Frank. That's not going to make your whole life change. No, Frank is still cheerful. And look, that's not even his main moodlet. I don't really like it when the personality changes kick in just because you have a sad or cheerful moodlet. It doesn't seem to matter what your main or overall feeling is. Okay, Ian, this is the third time now George Cahill has asked him out on a date. Just make up your mind, Ian. Go out with someone. Michael is shocked to discover corruption brazenly flaunted in the upper echelons of Space Y. A ranking ranger from the Sixum Quadrant had the gall to wink at him today while planting contraband in the cab of a long-haul space trucker. It isn't Michael's job to investigate fellow space rangers, but making a high-profile arrest of another ranger could be the catalyst that leads to a restoration of order and peace. Does Michael dare to shine a light on the crimes within his department, or will he leave it for internal affairs to handle? Okay, this is perfect, because actually I don't want him to be a space ranger. It's just a little bit too out of character for him, even though he is outdoorsy, even though he is a loner. I don't see him this involved with technology, and I have nowhere on the lot to put a spaceship. So we're going to make the arrest in game fame, reputation, and money, but resign from our job. Oh no, Bertha, my cow plant. I did not pay attention to her. Uh, whoops. I always lose the cow plants. Okay, for some reason, I cannot ask the landlord to inspect my TV or my computer. So I guess for those, we'll just have to hire a repair person. And the repair person got electrocuted and started a fire. Great. Oh, Randall actually learned how to sit up. All right, Randall. Let's see if you can play dolls. Come on, set him down. No, he can't go there. And, of course, I can't go into build mode because of the event. Okay, this was a cute idea, but it actually does not work. Because I just noticed that I can't click on the ground anywhere in here and say go there. I thought maybe the infants could do it because they were smaller. I'm going to have to get into build mode so that I can scoot the dollhouse out further. I think if I scoot it just outside of the closet door, it should work. But unfortunately, right now, there's some stupid event. So I guess what I'm going to do is replace all of these things. And the property owner sent me 95 simoleons for helping to address the issue. Yeah, that didn't help at all. Okay, that isn't even far enough out. Wow, that is pretty far out in the room, but it has to be this far out in order for them to play with it. I guess it works a little bit, but it's still kind of disappointing. Well, I rearranged the room a little bit and put the crib against the wall, and then we just put some decorative items back there. So it kind of looks like it's a closet, and the dollhouse is set up in front of it for now so they could play with it. Well, that's one week in the life of taking care of two infants. And Frank is pretty happy that things are going his way. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.